Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Let's see if uh, Mr. Sunak, the Prime Minister of Great Britain, is uh, <clears throat> like this or like this, if you know what I mean. Let's see. This article comes from Reuters, and it's from today, December 13th, 2022. Enough is enough. UK Prime Minister announces crackdown on illegal immigration. Now let's see if you will celebrate or you will uh, be upset about this. It depends on what side are you on. Britain on Tuesday said it planned to bring in new legislation to prevent migrants who cross the English Channel from remaining in the country as the government tries to control a surge in people arriving in small, small boats on its southern coast. The number of people arriving in England across the Channel has more than doubled in the last two years, with government figures showing Albanians account for the highest number of people arriving, arriving by this route. Prime Minister Rishi Maharishi Sunak announced a new five-point strategy for dealing with illegal immigration, including plans to fast-track the return of Albanian asylum seekers. Why asylum? What's the problem in your country? I mean, politically, something pro it's a democracy over there, isn't it? NATO is there. Why, why, what asylum based on what kind of, uh, you know what I mean? What's going on over there? Asylum seek, economic asylum? Well, I don't think so. I mean, otherwise everybody would move uh, to Great Britain, right? And clean, clearing the initial backlog of almost 150,000 asylum cases by the end of the next year by doubling the number of caseworkers. And I'm quoting, if you enter the UK illegally, you should not be able to remain here. End quote. Sunak told Parliament, and I'm quoting again, instead, you will be detained and swiftly returned either to your home country or to a safe country where your asylum claim will be considered. End quote. I think it's just logical. Uh, migrants arriving on small boats have become a major political issue for the conservative government, particularly in the working class areas in the north and central England. You're going to be uh, outbred or, uh, you know, don't worry, <laughs> it's too late for you too. Where migrants are blamed for making it harder to find work and stretching public services. Uh, Sunak said in a new unit, said a new unit would be created to tackle crossings and that in future migrants would be housed in these used holiday parks, former student accommodation and surplus military sites rather than hotels. Britain's Interior Minister, Home Secretary Suella Braverman, I can only guess, recently called the wave of arrivals an invasion and described many of the migrants as, and I'm quoting, criminals, leading to an angry response from Albanian Prime Minister Edi Rama. <laughs> if they ask for asylum, leaving your country, that means you're not doing something right, uh, Edi. Why are you upset? That means you fucked them up in Albania, that's why they say bye-bye and they go and ask for asylum. Asylum could be what? Political asylum? Based on the rights that were not respected in your country? It can be economic asylum, remember that one. So even you say, well, I'm homosexual and uh, I can't marry my partner over there or I'm going to be hanged in Albania. Then they're going to give you asylum, I guarantee you that. If you say, well, you know what, I'm uh, uh, from a certain kind of party and democratic party and those guys are going to kill me if I return there because they don't like, uh, you know, uh, to have this party over there. They would give you asylum. What else? I mean, these are the kind of asylums where I'm prosecuted in my own country. That's when you ask for asylum. So, Eddie, what the fuck are you not doing right over there that this many people use their fucking boats to cross the... French Channel or the English Channel? Which one is it? <laughs> I know my British friends are very happy when I say that. Anyway, Sunak said that over the coming months, thousands of Albanians would be returned home. Right to be angry. Successive British governments have promised to stop the arrival of small boats. Despite that, a record of 
44,867 people have crossed the channel on small boats to enter Britain this year. It's a city, a small village city. Concerns over the level of immigration were a driving force. The vote for Brexit in 2016 referendum with supporters calling for Britain to take back control of its borders. Sunak said that public, the, the public are quote unquote, right to be angry and said the current system was unfair on those with a genuine case for asylum. I agree with that. And I'm quoting, it is not cruel or unkind to want to break the stranglehold of criminal gangs who trade in human misery, end quote. He said, enough is enough, end quote. The announcement was strongly welcomed by most conservative members of parliament who fear they will face defeat at the next election if the government fails to resolve the issue. So that's why you're scared. That's why you now you talk strong. Some conservative lawmakers like the former minister Simon Clark or Clarkey wanted the government to go further and consider leaving the European Convention on Human Rights next year to make it easier to design new policies if the government's latest strategy failed to deter the crossings. Well, let me tell you this. What's one of the problems with uh, abusing a certain kind of system where you say, well, okay, we're going to accept you or refugees or you are seeking asylum because you're, you know, uh, discriminated or whatever oppressed in the countries that you come from. Okay, I understand that. Everything is abused more or less. Why? Because that's the way we are. And some of us are worse. Some of us are worse than others. So in this case, as I stated before, imagine I come from Romania, okay? Or I come from Albania. And I, in, let's say in Albania or Romania, I have a certain kind of income, okay? And I come to United States. And I come to United States or to Great Britain and say, you know what? What are you doing? Well, I am a construction worker. Let's say a John Smith, a British guy, says, I'm a construction worker. Okay, how much do you make an hour? Let's say he's going to say, I make $20 an hour. I'll just give you $20. Okay, what do you have? Well, I work overtime, I work hard, I have a house, I have a car, I have family, I have three children, I have, uh, you know, the children go to school, they do sports, they do this. I'm, you know, I have a lot of, uh, how do you call it, uh, a lot of loans I, with interest I have to pay. You know, if I don't work this amount of hours, I cannot afford living like that. I mean, right? Having a house or a flat, how we want to call it. Well, Emil shows up from Romania with nothing but balls in his hand, holding them and comes to Great Britain and say, hey, what's going on here? All right. Well, I want to work in construction. Well, you can't. It's the, the guys we have, uh, the John Smith. He's hired. How much? $20 an hour? Okay, I work for 10. What do you think they're going to do with the construction worker? They're going to fire him and they're going to hire me. Do you think I will not be able in about a week to be able to do the job the constructor, constructor worker is doing? Construction worker is doing? I think I can. And I gave you a week just to be, you know what I mean? And I'm going to give the owner profit double double profit do you think it's not gonna fire me and it's gonna it's gonna hire me it's gonna hire me it's gonna fire john smith and john smith will have to say well i either you know i'm fired and i go or i say well i i i, I, I will be working for nine dollars an hour and i say okay john smith nice try i will work for eight dollars an hour and that's how we compete with one another. The problem is I have only my balls so I can live in a flat with other five Romanians or 10 Romanians and we put the money for the, for the rent, which is nothing. We eat here and there and I have enough money to save money and to send it to Romania and buy properties if I want. That's how it works. But uh, John Smith, he has a family. He's got a life. He doesn't have only his balls in his hand. He's got his children, he's got his wife, he's got loans, he's got house, he's got cars, he's got other things to do. If he works less than $20 an hour, he has to uh, sell his house or leave it there and be, not be able to pay his whatever he is he's doing. His lifestyle will drop like this in a second because Emil came with his hands 
uh, <clears throat> both uh, cling, 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 cling. That's what it is. So you want more immigration? That's gonna be, who's gonna be happy? The businessman, the employer. Oh my God, bring more, because I will fire John Smith and I will hire Emil, half of price, and I will make a profit. All right, so, and then and me as a businessman, right, the guy, the owner, who's gonna lobby the politicians to accept more immigrants like Emil or not? What do you think? Do you think he's gonna say, no, 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 John Smith has been working for me for 20 years and he's a nice worker. He's not gonna give a fuck about John Smith because he's not over there to create family and friends. He's over there to make money. He's got his things to pay for. So that's the way it is, Sunak. And Sunak is gonna do this. Don't hold your breath because he's talking big, you know, yapping around. They're gonna come with five points. They're gonna put them on the paper. They're gonna vote for them. They're gonna implement them. The problem is how many resources and how serious the whole thing is. It's only on the paper or it's real. Because they say, well, we're gonna have a, a new uh, a group or whatever they called over there that's gonna take care of these guys that come and so on. How many, five? And then when the, the, the constituency will ask, hey, what did you do about that? Oh, we did this, we did this, we did this. But they will not tell them, hey, we put five people on the border. With five people, they can't even catch a seagull or something crossing from, the, from France. That's what's gonna be. So it depends how you implement it, how much you fund, how many funds you put in that. If you don't fund it, it looks good. The idiots are gonna vote for you. You win the elections and the guys keep coming and you wonder why? <laughs> because you didn't do a good job. Everything looks good on the paper and on the interviews. That's what it is. I mean, look at the Americans. The Americans have policies of, you know, uh, uh, how should I, protecting the border, but they're underfunded. No, fu not funded. And once they got funded, then the, the ones, the, the guys crossing the United States, they're not like, oh, stop right here. We are going to stay here. You're not going to, oh my God, I'll release you. Stay here. We're going to process you here. You don't have, you don't have, uh, how do you call it? Papers. Fuck you. Go back. I don't know who you are. And a lot of people just come without papers because, you know, if they don't have papers and they say whatever they want. Remember, what's his name? Uh, sorry to mention that, but I know it's a new movie. I don't refer you with the movies, but that's a real, real way of dealing with these things. Remember uh, Scarface with Tony Montana with Al Pacino? Yeah. When he was interviewed by the FBI and he was uh, whatever he's uh, in his chair at the beginning, he, didn't, he could say whatever he wanted. My name is Tony Montana. I can say my name is James Brown. Whatever, Who, you never know me unless you have me in the system somewhere. And you're gonna have me in the system if I tell you that. Unless you have face recognition. And again, I'm somewhere else in the system that you can access. And many other ways of, anyway, criminal record and so on. Other than that, bye-bye. So yeah, uh, it depends how you implement it, how much, how much funding you put in these things. Oh, we go created this, we created this, we created that. What, five people? Or I don't know, 10,000 people. And about uh, the, the guys, they will always try to come to a better life because that's the main thing. You come to a better life, to come to opportunities. And it, a lot of people don't come here to work and you know, be productive uh, members of the society. No, they think they're going to cut, cut uh, corners. They think they're going to do this. They're going to rip the government off for the services that the Americans and everybody else is going to pay for them. That's what it is. But those guys should not stay in that country. You come here to work. You stay, you come here to mm, get the fuck out. That's how I would do it. I mean, if you're not a productive member of society, you have nothing to do here. You didn't come here just to stay for other people to uh, give you welfare and other shit. Why is, that, why is that fair for the people, for the citizens, for the people who work hard and pay taxes? Why? I don't want to do that. No, I don't. But anybody ask me? No, they do whatever they want. And this is a democracy. I vote for those guys who tell me, yes, Emil, we're going to do this like Sunak. Yeah, we're going to do this. And once they're over there, they're, fuck, fuck you, Emil. Obviously, I'm an immigrant, but uh, don't cut co corners and don't be a fuck up. Come here and do what you need to do. Work. Work. Be a productive member of the society, not a leopard. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.